65. With an inventive movie title like that, you know you're in for one hell of a movie. Was it any good? Is it worth paying money to go and see? No. Let's talk about why. Hey guys, I'm Carl. Welcome to my movie film show. Feel free to subscribe down below if you would like to, but we're here today to talk about a movie called 65. So 65 stars Adam Driver and Ariana Greenblatt in a movie which features dinosaurs. And in fact, the trailer, the final trailer for the movie, heavily featured on the fact that this movie was set in 65 million years ago. 65 million years ago. 65 million years ago. And it's got dinosaurs and Adam Driver. That's pretty much everything. Thing. They gave it all away in that final trailer. So the basic story of the movie is the movie is set 65 million years ago, if you didn't guess from the movie trailer. And there's this civilization living on a distant planet, I think it was called Samaris, right when Earth was filled with dinosaurs 65 million years ago. And this civilization sets out on a mission. Adam Driver is the driver of the ship. Is that why they cast him? His ship crash lands on a planet after being hit by a meteor and the ship is torn apart. On the ship, there's all these people in cryostasis and only one of them survives. That's Ariana Greenblatt, the young girl in the movie. So basically it's a movie where they have to get from point A to point B. And along the way, they realize, oh crap, there's all these big dinosaurs. That's not good. And interestingly, for the most part, this movie only has two speaking characters. There's four all together, because Adam Driver showed a little bit of his backstory at the beginning, his wife, his daughter, and why he's leaving to do the mission. His daughter is sick. He needs the money. So he's going to lead this mission, which is going to take two years. He's going to miss two years of his daughter's life, but she's sick, so he needs to get the money to save her. So in the crash land, Adam Driver thinks he's the only survivor, and for some reason, he's about to kill himself, and then he doesn't, and then he finds Koa. Now, what he does find is that Koa doesn't speak the same language as him. She doesn't speak English. How did it develop? English, the exact same language as on Earth on a different planet 65 million years ago. Who knows? But, uh, movie logic. But Koa speaks a different language. She can't understand him. Mills can't understand Koa. So there's an interesting dynamic, I guess. You've only got two people in your entire movie and you make it that they can't speak to each other. Makes sense. Makes sense. That's definitely going to be interesting for the audience. It means they have to coexist. They have to help each other as they try to get across this unknown planet. However, the movie doesn't make it an unknown planet. Right at the beginning, as the ship is about to crash, they come up with the movie title and it says 65. And then a little line of text comes across as million years ago. And then another line of text says a visitor crashed on and then bigger text, Earth. Just completely giving it away. They completely ruin I suspense. What they could have done is just not told us that it's Earth. That would have made it a little bit better because slowly the audience could have realized, oh crap, they crash landed on Earth. In a similar way to the reveal in Planet of the Apes, where we only find out at the end of the movie that they were on Earth all along. Why they had to spoil it at the beginning, I don't know. But that's the thing with this movie. The movie's only an hour and 30 minutes long-ish, which should lead to a very fast paced, interesting movie. And the movie is certainly fast paced in places, but it's a perfect example of when a movie is too fast paced and they just skip over things. Everything in this movie is rushed. Every time they have a chance to build suspense or tension, they just rush the scene. There's various scenes with dinosaurs and obviously the movie you compare it to with dinosaurs is gonna be Jurassic Park, the original one, not any of the subsequent terrible ones. Case in point, there's a scene that's even in the trailer where Adam Driver and Ariana Greenblatt's characters, they're in a cave and it's raining and it's nighttime and suddenly there's thunder and lightning and we see a T-Rex outside the cave. And you would think that could be a very interesting scene. Similar to Jurassic Park, when we get the T-Rex scene, when the kids are in the car and the water is shaking and then you see the eye beside the car, such an iconic scene, so brilliantly done. It's a scene that Spielberg just let breathe. In this one, you see the dinosaur and they just immediately escape from him. There's no build up, there's no tension. They just rush through the entire scene, as I mentioned. And this happens throughout the movie with every encounter with dinosaurs and there's no points in this movie that stick with you as really really good scenes this movie had so much promise i did a trailer reaction to it not too long ago and i was really excited for this movie it's an original story it's not a reboot it's not a remake but the movie's just so badly let down by poor filmmaking this movie could have been the next Jurassic Park. It's different enough from the original Jurassic Park, but they just don't use what they have enough. They don't use the suspense, don't build up the tension. They just rush through everything. The movie's an hour and a half long. This is actually a case where a movie probably should have been about two hours. I think the relationship between Koa and Mills develops really well in the movie. I think Adam Driver and Ariana Greenblatt are both fantastic actors. Those two were the best part of the movie. But I think overall, it's the directing and the filmmaking which ultimately let this movie down. 
own. And that's a huge shame because as I mentioned, I felt this movie could have been something special. So ultimately we get down to a rating as always here on Carl's Movie Film Show out of 10 for whatever movie we're talking about. This week it's 65. As I mentioned, such an innovative title. I didn't enjoy this movie. I was rather let down by this movie. And ultimately I can't give it more than a three out of 10. Overall, just a huge disappointment. And while you're still here, if you're looking to check out another video, there's one right over here to check out. It's all about Quentin Tarantino. It's honestly one of the best videos I've ever made in this channel. I'd highly recommend checking that one out. You've already seen that. There's another video to check out right over here and I will catch you in the next movie review.